Hi, it's Olivia from Morga Bows, and I just got back from softball, so I'm a little bit out of it, but um, today I'm going to teach you how to make clippy bows. Okay, so the supplies you'll need is 13 to 14 inches of one and a half inch wide ribbon and 11 inches of 7 eighths inch wide ribbon. I'm going to be teaching you how to make both kinds. You only need one per bow. So today I'm going to teach you how to make two bows. And um, so yeah, you'll need 14 inches if you're doing a one and a half and 11 if you're doing a 7 eighths. You'll also need scissors. Um, about 3 eighths inch wide, uh, or no, yeah, 3 eighths inch wide ribbon and about 3 inches of it per bow. Um, and a glue gun. I think that's it. And this is the no sew kind, so tutorials you might have watched before, you can stick a needle through the middle and wrap it around to get it tight, but um, this is no sew, easy as it gets. So I'm going to take this and th put it aside for a minute, and we're going to work with the one and a half. If you only have seven eighths, then just skip this part, or you can actually watch it because you'll learn how to fold and it's it's really easy but um, once you get it you got it so what you're gonna do okay so you're gonna take the least pretty side and you're gonna fold one end down to about two-thirds of the way down so this takes up two-thirds of it and then you're gonna take the tail part and you're going to put it up. So, and then hold it in the middle. So now, this is what the back looks like, and this is what the front looks like. We'll cut the tail. So I would leave just a little bit um, extra on either side, just so the tail part doesn't look too short. Okay. So, again, you go down two-thirds, and up two-thirds and make sure that they're not touching each other they're just laid one right beside each other so this is what the back looks like this is what the front looks like okay now what you're gonna do the front you're gonna do an accordion fold I like to start from the bottom instead of the middle I don't know why I just think it's easier and you're going to do that all the way up the bow. Okay, so your bow will look like that when you're done. These are the tails right here and right here, and this is the, um, the loops. And it's not that big, it's just these are the, these are what I wear normally, like if I'm want to dress up a little bit like these are the kind that I wear and I'm 15 so it's not weird <laughs> and um, and so what you do now is you have your glue gun and this is hard like it's not this is the hardest part probably and maybe it's just me I don't know I'm not good at growing things um, so you're going to take your 3 8 ribbon and you're going to wrap it around the middle making sure that you don't let go of the middle part. And sometimes I find it easier to take a little piece of like friendship bracelet string and just tie it around because this is really hard <laughs> to make it not um, mess up. Okay, so now there's your bow, and this is wrapped around the middle. And you're going to take your glue, 
and you're going to make a little dollop right there. And you're going to fold this around like so and press it down. And you're going to wait for that to dry for a little bit. And it doesn't matter um, if the loop part ends on the front or whatever, this part isn't going to be shown, so you can be pretty sloppy with the glue and it won't matter. Just make sure it sticks down because it's what's going to hold the whole together. So now that seemed pretty dry. And so this is what you're left with. These are the tails and these are the loops. And it might get a little squished together like this, so just bring it out and you can adjust the size of stuff. And yeah, so next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, these are the tails, and you're gonna fold the tails down. So you do, might, you're just gonna cut straight across starting at the open end. Right there. And now you're left with that little V. And you do the same thing to this side. So now, this is what you're left with. Yeah, alright. There we go. Alright, so now, we're going to attach the clip. So I forgot to mention that you will need a clip. This is just a standard no teeth alligator clip, but you can pretty much use any kind that you have just as long as you can get the ribbon around it and you can glue it and it'll stay. So this is my clip. This is okay. So you're going to take the back of the bow and you're going to put this. So there's a little like it goes up a little bit right here, so you're going to put that side down on the bow. And then, you'll also actually need a little bit more of this. Um, you're going to take just enough to go around about one and a half times around your bow. And you're going to take this, you're going to start right here. I'm just going to leave that there for a minute. And you're going to take this around the bow. And put the alligator clip on. Here, let me see. Like so. So that it's clipped on right there. And then, what you're going to do. Okay, so you have the alligator clip on like that, and you're going to take a line of glue, and you're going to put it all the way across this. So you're going to go across the alligator clip and onto the tail. So there's glue all across that, and then you're just going to fold it around Putting a little glue everywhere and that way your alligator clip is stuck to the ribbon and the ribbon's also stuck to back to itself and so that is how you make a two thirds, um, no, a one and a half inch, three twos, um, inch uh, clip bow. And you can just, it'll clip open and you can just slide it in like that. And there you go. Alright, now if you want to go for a little smaller, which is what, this is what I wear on a normal 
basis just to clip back my hair. Um, as I said, I just got, so it's not what I normally wear, but um, I was playing sports. So, um, so here's my Galaxy bow. I love it. Oh, it's new. Um, and um, so you're going to do the same exact thing. It's basically just the exact same as um, as this, but it's just a little smaller. And you might want to use a smaller clip. I'm not going to because this is a pretty standard size for both of them. Um, you could go a little bit bigger on this one, but um, but it doesn't matter unless you want to use like include more hair, or whatever. Okay, so you're gonna fold this down like so, and fold this up just like you did for the one and a half inch. All right, so now you have the front, oh, sun, the front and the back. Let me straighten it out a little bit so it looks relatively normal. Um, now on these, I would recommend getting like a one eighth inch um, thick ribbon just to hold it because these get really slippery and it just, it always falls apart, and so I'm going to go get that, and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so I now have my 1 8 or 3 millimeters um, inch thick ribbon. It's pretty thin. It's silk. You can get it at Michael's for like 50 cents for 10 yards, so it's, it's just really useful to me, especially when I'm doing no-so stuff. Um... Okay, so you're going to take, and you'll probably want um, about, um, like, three inches of that. It's just going to go around once. You're just going to tie it, and, um, and, yeah, it just holds it, and you can cut the tails. You'll never know. Um, all right, so. Now, you take this, and you fold it down, and then you fold it up, so we got back, front, back, front, yeah, um, and you go like this, um, okay, so you're going to take, you're going to do the same accordion fold. All the way up and it's gonna look like that this tail is a little bit longer but it doesn't matter because you can just cut it off and make the tails a little longer on purpose as I said okay so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your 3 8 inch ribbon or your 1 8 and um, and put it around Center and you're gonna hold it like so and just tie it with one hand. It's not that hard, it just you pull it tight and um, then knot it again. And this, it your um, your bow might look a little different. See, mine's a little like janky, but um, but if you just pull on it a little bit, it goes right back to being normal. Awesome. <laughs> and okay, so you're done with that part. And if you want, you can actually just leave it at this part. Um, well, I mean, you cut the tails and everything, but you don't have to put a 3 8 around it. You can attach the clip with just this, um, but it doesn't, um, doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. All right, so I'm going to cut the tails again. So 
are now left with this. And what you're going to do is you're going to, I decided that I'm going to wrap it, create around it. And this is like a silver sparkle. I thought that looked cool with the uh, cosmic because it's all sparkly and shiny and night like. And so this is three inches of three eighths again. And then I have another that's like two inches for the last little bit. Okay, so you take this and you wrap it around. Just until it's done. Again, it won't show. This is just a little extra um, stability. And then you take your glue gun. Oh, one more. That's weird. And you glue the dollop. And all the way around. There you go. And again, it might end up looking a little bit weird, but all you gotta do is just do your little bring this back to normal. This um it doesn't look quite the same. This has a little bit more of a center um so if you don't want that, if you want it to look about like the same ratio as this one, just stick with 3 8 um, But it's not as easy to attach the clip with, I mean 1 8 just stick with 1 8 um, It's not as easy to attach the clip with just 1 8 so you can pick and choose. If you want to just use it like a bobby pin as a clip, it's super easy. I just always go with 1 8 or just a piece of string like if I'm just making one to match my outfit for the day. But um, if you're making one for someone or to sell or whatever, I'd recommend doing this way because it just, um, it's more high quality and it stays longer. Okay, so you're going to take another clip and you are going to, oh, let's put this like off center, but that's not right. Take your little thing, and this one, I'm going to go ahead, just put a little bit of glue on the back, and then take this and set it on there, so it looks like that, and then once that dries, you can go ahead and just wrap it around once and then do like you did before and um, put your clip like so so that the part that comes up is facing in to you if you hold it like this way okay so you have this and you're going to take like you did on the other one um, and make a line of glue across the top of the clip and onto this little end piece so it's all across there and then you're just gonna wrap it around and the um, this will set into its right place so now, this is what you're left with, a little galaxy bow, and it has a little clip on the back, and you can just slide it in. It's a little teensy bow that I use to just put my hair back, and these are great and super easy. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> One of the most important parts, the lighter and 
I'm going to take, okay, you have to heat seal the ends. I forget sometimes, and my ends spray, and it just ruins all the work that I did. So, you take, ooh, and you just run it across both ends. Alright, and make sure, don't hold it there too long because the ends will start to curl up, especially on this smaller ribbon. Um, just enough to, like, to get it. You can feel if it's sealed or not. So I'm going to do the same thing to this. There you go. One small one, one big one, and it only took like 10 minutes, so there you go. It's really easy, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I don't think I forgot anything. And uh, one more thing I forgot. Um, sorry, I ADD or something, I don't know. Um, you what um my yeah if you want to buy anything you um you can get it i have a facebook page orca bows um orca my name is olivia ray case adams so that's like o-r-c-a initials are cool <laughs> and um and i have an instagram which is Orca bows, kick orca bows, email orca bows at gmail.com. Um, and all the prices are on my Facebook page. And if you ask me on Instagram, I'll tell you. But Instagram is mostly just to show off like what I'm making, not necessarily to sell anything. But you're welcome to buy. Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed. Bye now. <laughs>